Hey guys, it's Dick here again today from All Dicked Up, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do an oil change on a Honda 420 Rancher four-wheeler. And I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about servicing and kind of giving it the once-over uh, to kind of save you some of those dealer fees and those trips you don't really want to make. You can definitely do this yourself. I put this at a lower skill level. I've been doing um, this kind of service on my four-wheeler since I was 10 years old, so I'm hoping this helps you out. This is my experience with Hondas, and I've never had an issue with any of my Honda four-wheelers because I keep up on this service. I do it twice a year, no matter what, no matter how much I ride it or don't, I do this. So I hope this video helps you. Um, if you can, please like and subscribe. It really would help me out, and maybe give this video a share. Thank you so much. All right, let's talk tools and what you're gonna need. I like using a ratchet, uh, 3 8 ratchet, with a longer socket because it's a little easier to clear. This is a 17 millimeter. Then I use, again, I like to use a longer socket, a little easier to clear, you don't bang your knuckles. Uh, this is an eight millimeter. Then you're gonna need an oil filter. Um, these are the same throughout for pretty much all Hondas. Um, and then you're going to need this oil, the GN4 four-stroke 1040SI. I can't stress enough, you need this GN4 oil. This is for wet clutch. Um, super important. I'm an oil snob, but you absolutely do need to run the Honda oil because it has some kind of special sauce in there that makes this good. So, all right, the quick down and dirty on how to pull off your fenders, because in the time lapse, I was a little quick. So what you want to do is reach your hand underneath, undo the seat, come over back here. I like to start on the non-shifter side, pull this out, lift up like so, lift up like so, and then I just give a little tug from there. You'll see this side comes out. It's very easy to remove. Then I walk to the other side, the shifter side. I just give a little pull pull and I mean she's ready to be lifted right off now so that's easy as it is uh, just make sure when you're lining it back up that the bottoms down here are lined up into the slots they go into see and then when you're putting it back on just make sure all the holes are lined up before you give it the old shove in and the best thing to do is kind of look down in here these are just little plungers see you just kind of give them a little push and they will stick in it seems weird I was skeptical at first but I mean it's been fantastic Love it. So the first thing you need to see is me pop off this fender and then I check the air filter. But you need to pop off these four points to check it, make sure it's clean, put it back in. I forgot to record that part. Then the next thing we need to move on to is the oil filter. Make sure you get an oil filter and change it. Don't just skip it. I've seen so many people with these Hondas, they don't even know an oil filter exists. Um, changing the oil alone is not enough. Definitely change that filter. Um, you'll be able to see it in a little bit that it is just disgusting. You really need to change the filters, three eight millimeter bolts, and there's a 17 millimeter for the engine on the bottom. Here it is right here, you're gonna see it. it it's not looking good. And see, you could tell it's, it's real gross. Then you wanna put the new filter on the cover of the oil filter cover, not inside the engine. And then you just slowly put it in and tighten up the bolts um, in rotation and just tighten them up 17 pound foot or just snug tight. Don't over tighten those. They won't need a huge tight. They just need to be snug. Um, then I go over here and fill the oil up. Make sure you use Honda oil. I can't stress that enough. This uh, rig is a wet clutch. If you have the electronic version, you will need four quarts um, or a little bit under. This model took about three or two and two thirds quart to change the oil. Um, as you're going to tell, I fill it up with a few quarts, two and a half quarts, and then I start it up and then it needs just a little bit more. So that's why I say it's two and two thirds um, for this Honda foot shift model. The electronic shift does take more. The case is a little bit bigger, but it's a very easy process. This should save you some money and you pop back on those fenders. It's good to go. A couple things I want to talk about is there's an exhaust bolt on the bottom of the rear exhaust. You do want to undo that and then plug the exhaust hole and rev it up a little bit. Make sure you do it when it's cold. Also check the coolant when it's ice, ice cold. Um, I just say overnight first thing, just pull off that radiator cap, check it, make sure it's clean, there's nothing, no debris and stuff in there. Close it back down. Uh, just make sure the tank is full and that should do it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out. 